Uh, vapor lock is when we the system has reversed itself. So possibly what happens a lot of times is someone will turn their heater on first, letting it heat up before they turn their pump on. Now the problem is the heater starts to create pressure and the pump has a hard time pushing through that pressure. So that's vapor lock. You're, you're not getting anywhere. There's, there's no water coming out of your system. So first thing you always want to do is have all your hoses plugged in first, then your extension cord. So now we've got power. Always turn your pump on first and make sure water is flowing through your system. Now that you have water flowing through the system, now go ahead and turn your heater on, let it heat up for a little bit. Uh, give it a good five minutes or so. Now after your heater has uh, been heated up for about five minutes, go ahead and continue, uh, start flowing water either through a hand tool or a wand. And what you're gonna find is, you're gonna find cold water coming out first. Now that is the water that's been in your solution line, whether it's 15 feet of solution line or 25 feet. So you're gonna see cold water coming out at first, and then you'll feel hot water start to come out. At that point, it's okay to let it sit for another minute or so, let the heater start catching up. Uh, now once you've gotten the cold water out of your line, you've let it sit for another minute or so, you're ready to start using it. So simply do a wet pass, that's spraying your solution, vacuuming at the same time, and then just do a couple dry passes. Uh, this may be different than how you work if you're using something like uh, a, a truck mount heater or a kerosene heater or a propane heater. Uh, inline heaters or electric inline heaters just work a little differently, so you have to learn how to work uh, with them. And so that's the best thing to do in, in getting started and getting the most out of your heat.